there is no criminal trespass on me. Oh my god. So I'm gonna arrest you and your kid's gonna go to CPS. I'm just doing it, they don't have body cameras, right? So in case they get aggressive with you guys, right? Y'all have no right to take me anywhere. Don't touch me! Hello guys, I usually add controversial situations at the end of the video, but today I would like to start with one of them. And before we begin, please support me with your like and comment and let's get started. <laughs> That you're not permitted on the premises. I signed this. You are? Oh, I signed this. Yes. So you're claiming this. Okay. You're you're asserting you're enforcing this as a criminal trespass. They don't want you on the property. You're enforcing this as a criminal trespass. They don't want you on the property. Sir. So you're you're okay. It's time for you to go. So you what happens you'll if be, I don't go? You'll be arrested for what? Trespassing. It violates 18 U.S.C. 1983, 42 U.S.C. 1983. This is a deprivation of rights under color of law. In order to be criminally trespassed from public property, you have to have evidence of a crime. Please present me with the affidavit of the crime that I committed to be removed from a public property. Okay. Please show me the affidavit. Okay. You, you received your notification. You're not committed on a crime. Apparently, this man is a school teacher who was detained as he was leaving the school. Uh, there are two points in this video that I would like to discuss. One, was this a crime in your opinion? And two, is the public school private property? That's that. This is not a criminal okay. trespass. It's time for you to go, sir. And if I don't, then you'll be arrested for criminal for trespass. Criminal trespass, absence of crime. Define. Absent of the crime. I just want to stand before the school board. So, I need the criminal trespass. Please give me the criminal trespass paper. Give me the criminal trespass document. Please give me the criminal trespass paper. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure arrest me. Okay, it's time for you to go. Arrest me. You're not going to stop that. Arrest me. I'll stop that. Sure. Arrest me. Arrest me. I'm not. You're gonna arrest me. We're gonna arrest you for defiant trespass. You're gonna. You're gonna unlawfully arrest me for defiant trespass. That would be an unlawful arrest. You and everyone saw us. I know. I know. It's it's unlawful. You're acting outside your color of law. You're appearing color of law. You have no crime. The only thing I can say is that this man inspires my confidence, and even without. Knowing the whole situation, it seems to me that he has done nothing wrong. I have seen various criminals, and none of them have asked for an arrest to prove a point. Okay. So go ahead and arrest me. Somebody notified take, you? Take me to the magistrate. Are you saying, take me are, you, to, are you saying that you weren't notified, you weren't given a certified letter, you didn't sign for that certificate? That is not a criminal trespass warning. Okay. I ha what I, here. Say you did not put that, put that with, your, with your signature on there and all that. Hold on. I went. You see this? I, I, I That's what I'm saying. So, just, hold on, hold on. Right here, oh, hold on, what does this say here? I know, you're you're yeah, yeah, I know because I'm surrounded by two yeah. cops operating outside the color of law. You are outside your authority. You're being used for me to I apologize. I, no, I apologize. I, I'm a little in duck because you're acting at you do are. You are. You're not treating me fairly. You're violating your oath. So I have the Penn State Police have said there is no criminal trespass on me. None. There's no probable cause affidavit. There's no sworn affidavit of a crime. It seems to me that these cops don't even try to understand the situation and look at the documents. They act like robots. Someone told them to arrest a person and they do it without investigation. Correct. Okay. Where's that criminal press trespass? What, what you were sent here is, is the right... No, I need your document that has a probable cause affidavit that I committed a crime to be lawfully tre trespassed off of property. If you take that information, you can do the right to know... No, I need it from you. Pardon. I want you, you to write... Don't give it to you right away. You can do it... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until you arrest me and give me my okay. criminal trespass with the probable cause affidavit supported by a warrant for arrest. Okay. Mm. Oh my... God. Gosh.
and the next arrest took place in complete chaos where it's uh, hard to know who's right and who's wrong but I will still draw your attention to several points indicating uh, that the cops are behaving illegally It's hard for me to understand why everyone is yelling and why the cops came to this store. But you can see that the cop whose camera was filming what was going on was acting so aggressively that he almost attacked his colleague. I don't understand what's going on in this store at all, but the employees are obviously not happy to see the cops. First he pushed a woman at the entrance and then he attacked another woman who was standing peacefully and not touching anyone. If anyone has any information about what happened at this store, post in the comments. But do you remember the cops kicking people out and telling them that the store is private property? Then why do they walk into the store now and not think they need a warrant? Don't believe me? Here's an example. And basically, uh, we got called about a trespass. Uh, uh, so a dip, what I got more clarification from them inside. Because it's hard to relay stuff back to between our dispatch. What it is, they, they say, y'all aren't uh, buying things, y'all can't be here. They said that she's seen somebody drinking. It wasn't her, it was the other manager that left. Told her, see somebody drinking outside the building. Y'all can't be doing that, obviously. You, drink, you can't be drinking in public. But, but, I, I don't see y'all drinking. Right. I'm smelling alcohol right now, obviously. I'm not up close in this. When you see anything, I don't care. Right, but right. at the end of the day, y'all can't be here. Y'all are buying anything, okay? They also no said it's private property, no trespassing. If y'all aren't buying anything, y'all are trespassing, okay? You can't uh, okay. be here, okay? So give me a minute, all right? All right. Man, we are regular customers here. We up here, we up here every morning. Uh, I told you that with all due respect, though, I'm gonna have to file a complaint on that. All due respect, because it's a violation of uh, Second Amendment rights, Fourth Amendment rights. Explain to me how does this work? These people who are standing peacefully, not drinking alcohol, are chased away because the store is private property. And in the previous video, the cops enter the store as if it were their uh, own home. But then we move on to the next controversial video. Who is it? It's Calisto Police. Okay, I am recording you, just so you know. Okay, no problem. Hey, Michelle. Hey. Um, so, you gotta leave the hotel, okay? Even though I have a reservation until Monday? Yes. Yeah. Okay, on what grounds? What legal grounds do you have okay. to make me leave? It's a private business. They have you on a do not rent list. They rented to me though, didn't they? Okay, well they made a mistake. Okay, well I'm still paid and I still have the right to be here until Monday. Okay. Can, so tell me what what place. law I'm breaking. Okay, Michelle, it's no, I'm asking. No, I'm okay. How is it trespassing when I paid for this room until Monday? They've asked you to leave. Okay, no, that you're not answering my question. How is it trespassing if I've paid for this room until Monday and their staff is the one that rented me the room? Okay. I've asked them for something in writing to tell me what the grounds are that they're making me leave on and why they're making me leave, and they refuse to put it in writing. I'm not leaving until they give me something okay. in writing. Here's the deal. I checked in and made my reservation through Choice Rewards program. I understand that legally this woman is not right. Any hotel can evict you because it's private property. But why can the cops see the fraud on the part of the hotel? They got paid, don't pay it back and evict the person. That's whose rules and regulations I follow because that's who I booked the room through and the reservation through. And Troy's hotel I said you have to leave. No, did, did you talk to them? The manager did. Did you talk to them is what I asked you. So here's did the you talk to them? If you don't leave, I'm going to arrest you and your kid's going to go to CPS. It's as simple as that. Oh, you're going to arrest me yes, for I trespassing will. even though I've paid for this room until Monday. I promise you that I will. Just yes or no. Answer the question. Yes, I will, Michelle. I for trespassing. Yeah, I want to give you even a chance. Even though I've paid for the room until Monday. Yeah. How is it trespassing? Can you tell you're me? You're remaining unlawfully. They've asked you to leave. They've given you But I've asked them to give me a justifiable reason why they're making me leave and they won't. They don't have to. It's something that happened at another hotel. You can take it up with choice Okay, hotel. so it's something that happened at another hotel and but you guys are giving me 
you guys are forcing me and saying that I'm trespassing here, even though it was something that occurred at another hotel. So you don't think that that's discrimination? You don't think that that's disability? Like, I'm disabled. This is called discrimination. Here's the deal. I've done talk. nothing wrong in this hotel. Can they I have no you? legal right to make me leave because we've done absolutely nothing wrong. I actually understand why this woman wants uh, an explanation from the hotel in writing. If she evicts herself, it will look like a voluntary eviction in court. But if she has documents, she will be able to prove illegal actions on the part of the hotel. They're the ones that checked me into this hotel, and now they're forcing me to leave without any justifiable reason. Do you? No, yes, please listen to me for one second. Okay. I want this to end peacefully. I want you to be able to go to another hotel with your child and get they your points back. They, Here, listen to me. They won't. I, I talked to the place of Rewards. They are not. They have not given me my points back, okay. even though they told me they checked me out and canceled my reservation. I can't go to another hotel because they haven't checked me out, and I can't get my points back until I get my points back. I can't book another hotel. Okay, here's the deal. So tell them to put something in writing for me and give me my points back and check me out, and then I'll leave. I can't do that, okay? They've, they've already talked to Choice Hotels. I want- I have two, I have two hours recorded on my iPad okay, good. with them. Good, okay. Do you care? Yeah, I want okay. you to get your points back and I don't want you to go to jail. So here's what we need to do. We oh, well, I've already got plenty of bruises from Officer Kale that I filed reports on. Okay. So we've already got a lawsuit coming for the KPD. Okay, we don't, we don't want to go down that road. We have oh, your trial to That's a good idea because it'll okay. include you too. And in the following video, everything is amazing. The people who don't understand who is here to protect them and who isn't. And the cops who don't take any action. It's public. You don't need permission to film in public. I'm doing it for your protection. They don't have body cameras. They don't have body cameras. It's for your protection. Dory, I'm, I'm doing it in case they start harassing you. Like I'm doing it. Trust me. It's happened to me. It's happened to a bunch of people. Look at it. I don't want They're pretty to. much, they're already harassing you. Look at no, that, they not. pulled you over for no reason, pretty no, much. You were parked Can you shut that off? I'm gonna keep recording, no, just for protection. It it's public, you can record anyone in public. Oh. I'm just doing it, they don't have body cameras, right? So in case they get aggressive with you guys, right? No, I don't want you to get aggressive. I don't want to get aggressive. I heard about you, you posted on my that's why it's important to distribute videos on the internet if these women knew that the guy with the camera was trying to protect them this situation could have helped them avoid being fined or arrested by the police exactly then you know that i do it for people's protection because they don't have body cameras you don't have no right to post it you know, if you don't want me to post that, I won't post that. No. I'm just going to record it. No. They're not going to harass you. They're actually good guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. I won't record it. Don't do that. Don't. No. I'll show. Tell me how to. I'll delete it. Don't touch 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 it. Don't they don't want to be filmed in your it's stupid public, camera. Buddy. That's you fine. You don't need they any don't, permission to record. You don't need any yeah. permission it's to record. Yeah. You don't want to watch your video buddy. Too. I would like to point out that the cops see the man's camera being taken away and uh, it looks like um, an assault. But they don't try to protect him. As I said earlier, everything about this video is amazing i'm just deleting it i won't do nothing i don't else. want you touching my phone i'm gonna delete my no, video no, no. yeah so you know what you cannot I delete it in i will delete it i want to what are you cops doing yeah. like, because she you're took harassing me she yeah, to listen not to touch your phone you and the following video is quite old and even if you have already seen it from the police cameras, I recommend watching it on behalf of the brave teenager. Yep. Yep. Okay. What you doing that for? Because I can. It's my right. First Amendment. So. Yes, sir. Where at? 166. 
Huntington Drive. Thank you. That's all the information I'm giving. I don't have to. Hey, you lay hands on me. This is live. Just let you know. No, I don't. What am I being? What? Ah. Okay. Just. Oh, is it suspicious? Yeah, it is. Okay. Suspicious of what? So what? No, you step closer to me. You honestly, I live at 166. You want to talk to anybody? You can talk to my family. I am not even old enough to talk to you. 17. You actually are old enough to get jailed. So well, okay, you can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. No, you can't. You can't do anything. You can't do anything, sir. Somebody called. Okay, I understand they called, but suspicion is not a crime. Suspicion is not a crime. You have to tell me what I have done before you can even ID me. I know my rights. I've said many times before that it doesn't matter how old you are or whether you have a good camera. All you need to fight police brutality is the internet and courage like this guy. I know my rights. I don't care. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You answer me. You answer me. I get answered first. Yes, I do. I'm a citizen here. I'm a citizen. Am I being detained? Okay, thank you. That's all you had to answer. I don't have it with me. I don't drive. I don't have it with me. Don't have to give it. I do not have to give it. I am protected. Protected. You can crack your knuckles and touch me. I don't care. You touch me, you're going. You're, 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 both of y'all be done. I will sue state. Hostile. I'm not being hostile. You are being hostile. I'm not being hostile. being hostile with you. Well, you won't let me go home. That's being hostile. I am threatened. Okay. I feel threatened. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. However, we got a call. We have a legal reason to be here about you videotaping house. And that's, and that's crime? Which is and that's, suspicious. no, oh, suspicion of, okay, is that a crime? Suspicious is a crime? You video suspicion is a crime. Okay, listen. Friends, today's video was pretty short, but I still think we have a lot to discuss. I promise that, as always, I will read every comment and wish everyone a good weekend. Talk over me one more time. You can't do anything. We're going to have some problems. Okay. I don't care. All right. Cool. And I'll be out tomorrow. Because guess what? Y'all have no right to take me anywhere. To Thank you. Listen. You got two seconds. Do not Listen walk to away. I'm going to put you in woodbine. Do you understand me? We got a call. Somebody called. Said, that doesn't Shut matter. You Shut don't talk to me Shut like that. I'm good. You're pissing me off, okay? Because you're not, you're not listening. We got a call. Somebody called saying you're filming walking down the street. Okay, that's a law. Okay, we got a call which gives us the right to identify you. And if you refuse to identify us, suspicion is not. Because we got a. Why well, you can go home? You go to my house and get it. Because we got a legal right. You can go talk to my parents. Oh, I can sit right here. Okay, yeah. After you identify nope. yourself. Nope. Number five. I ain't gonna say nothing. Okay. What's your first name? I ain't gonna say anything. If you don't tell me your name. I'm gonna put you in jail for a few. Go ahead. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. And you better go to 166 and tell them what happened. You better. Okay, well, we don't have to go to your parents. Yes, you do. You're 17 year old and you're an adult. Well, guess what? If you don't, the whole fucking city is getting lawsuits. Because okay, I cool. know Thanks for watching. I think there were very hot and interesting videos today. I will be grateful to you for your support, for subscribing, for your every like and every comment. Videos are released every day, so click on the bell to not miss. See you tomorrow.